Hello and welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension. This is Wolfgang and this is Wolfgang. And um, over there, you know, this is <laughs> Shaman Dallas. And today we will be dealing, you know, uh, with healing our family. Well, would you like to talk to Mother Mary first? Okay, Mother Mary, you know, she is loved everywhere. You know, the Christians like her, you know, the South America loves her, you know, she's, you know, everywhere. Yes. She saved my life. Yeah, please, Mother Mary. Yes, okay, so I will contact Mother Mary now, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm a channeler, so it's always coming through the entity or the energy that's coming through. It's not me. So Mother Mary is here. Um, she just wants to say namaste. Namaste. To everyone and all your viewers. And we're talking about the aspect of family and how family members hurt each other, correct? Yeah, I mean, we have so much karma with them. You know, at least my clients and myself. So, you know, mm -hmm. It seems to be like a guardian knot you know, of, of ghosts, spells, curses, vows of revenge, you know, of loving each other, contradicting stuff. You know, how can an amateur? <laughs> yes. I'm a professional, you know, and I still have family problems. I mean, you know, so. Um, you know, how can, you know, a normal, normal person that is sincere, you know, work with you, you know, and help the family? Yes. Well, she is here. She's a very beautiful woman. Um, and she is really considered a goddess of love. In a lot of cultures, she's a goddess of love because she works with the energy of spirit. And she works with the energy of the heart chakra. So the heart chakra is a beautiful way to start with your family, and that's what she's saying. So I'm just going to channel her. I just heard that, so I'm just going to be basically hers. She's coming out of my mouth. So hello, Wolfgang. I'm Mary. I am the mother of God, as they would call me, the mother of Jesus, and also I am a goddess of love. People around the world have renowned love for me because of how the heart chakra feels when we pray to Mother Mary, the Virgin Mary. So if you like, I can explain a little bit about the heart chakra. And I don't want to offend anybody about a Virgin Mary because that is nothing to do with the heart chakra or love. So I prefer to be called Mother Mary because I'm a mother. I had children. I had children in a past life and in another past life. So children are our heart chakra. So children are one place that I always like to go because if we think of children, we think of how children are raised and how parents can always, always teach a child how to put their hand to their heart when they want to feel. Because we know nowadays that <clears throat> the internet and things are different than they were back 2,000 years ago, 100 <laughs> years ago, or 5,000 years ago when we think about Egypt or when we think about anything. Because children nowadays are very in tune to their heart chakra because of things that are said on the internet and things that are said through social media because things are coming in and in and in and people are praying saying, how do I get my child through this class? So we think about COVID. COVID was hard because all the kids had to go back to mom, mom and dad because it was the internet. They closed schools down. They did all kinds of things. So parents had to pull out of their jobs, whereas schools were basically taking their children for eight hours a day and okay. then come back and then all of a sudden the whole family started going like this, right? I know light language too. So they started going like this. And so a lot of the heart chakras closed because of being scared. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna get sick? Did grandpa die? Did grandma die? Or my friend's mom died? Uh, my teacher's now on the internet and I'm a kindergartner and can I sit here and pay attention 
Uh, teachers were upset. Um, family members were upset. The whole world was upset. And I'm only going there because that's not too far away. And everybody, I would assume most of your viewers, went through COVID. So we think about families together and the togetherness of the families. And if I heard you correctly, you want to know how to bring a family unit back together with the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. And overcome all the past obstacles that are there. Yes. From, and, from the other side. <laughs> and you also, I believe, said that you want to also work with family members of past life issues. And how do family members come into the same soul set from family members to family members? Because we come to this planet, we come with the same people over and over because of karma, because of what happened in a past life. Did I murder my husband? Sure, Did I probably. <laughs> break my child? Uh, did probably. grandpa do it? Did grandma do it? So we go up and we figure out we're coming back. And then we say, do you want to go back and fix this? And that is the soul retrievals that shaman do, like Dallas. But it's also a past life regression regre regression like you do. Sorry. Plus soul um, You know, you take, us, you take them back. And so the viewers know we have worked with Wolfgang before. He will take you back. He cuts the cords. He gets rid of that past life crosses all of the souls over, family members, from the astral plane, and we take them back. And then they go up there, they say, well, are we going to come back? Can we fix this? So you get into a family, and then the family unit starts to feel the past life karma of the each of the incarnates. So each incarnate feels the past life of dad or mom or whatever, and like all of a sudden, how do I... How do I function with dad because this doesn't feel right? And I'm speaking about children at this point because we've all been a child with parents, right? And grandparents and neighbors. And sometimes neighbors can be part of that too because, or a boss, you know, a boss. A, Extended a, a, family, you know, the people yeah, you spend family, most of the your, time with. Your best friend, you know, have you always been a best friend with that person in every lifetime because you have a good time? How did you connect with that person? Why did that person come into your life again and you just love them to death? You're just like, oh my God, I just love you so much. We have to go to lunch all the time. We have to do this. Or your husband, where you have a good relationship and it's just, I'm so in love. Or you have family members that they hate each other. I mean, they literally beat each other up. Abuse. You know, it, we have domestic violence. We have all of those things. Or roller coaster. Yeah, it's a roller coaster, and then the kids graduate. And we love and fighting, you know, both, you know. The yeah, two, so, you know? so with the heart chakra and you're teaching kids about their heart, um, my suggestion, and this is something that is coming from source, is coming through my chakras coming down, and the heart chakra is the place of our center. The heart chakra is going to say, I love you because that's my heart. We always say, my heart, you're my heart, right? We have the sacral chakras, we have the soul chakras, we have all these chakras all the way up, all the way down as you connect up to source, you come back down and run that through. And if parents are privy of this, then you can teach children to meditate and run those chakras through. And if they have somebody like you, of course, then they can go back into a past life regression because a lot of people, I think, don't know about that. It's not that I think. It's like you talk to somebody and they say, past life, nah, we were just here. And then you open up your horizons and you start researching it and go, wait a minute, maybe this is true. And then we have all of these different goddesses and like Kuan Yin, and Goddess Hathor, Goddess Isis, Mother Mary, some of these Inanna, some of these beautiful entities that come in and help because people have sight. They see that beautiful light come in. We're here. We're here to help you. They have sightings of me all the time because I'm everywhere. I'm coming in going, hello, I'm going to help you. I'm going to let you move through this because it's love. You could smell you too. <laughs> you smell like roses. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful feeling that comes in. And whether your culture 
doesn't matter. There is that female divine that comes in, and I'm not saying anything bad about masculine, you know, divine. It's just that mother love comes in, and it comes in, and the goddesses come in, and people have sightings of this. They see a light. They're like, oh, my God, I see my grandmother. She's been passed away for 20 years. Oh, my God, I see this. And all of a sudden you go, I just saw her, my grandmother, or I just saw Mother Mary. Did I? But why did you, would you go like this? It's your heart chakra because it's love. That and, you can see those, right? And your love yeah. comes up, you can see those realms of love. And it opens it up to where, okay, I'm open, my chakras are cleared, I'm grounded into Mother Earth, clear up to the heavens above, I'm grounded, and I just keep running this beautiful energy. So if people could ground every morning with their children before they go to school, or before they go to work, just kind of like, okay, it's breakfast time, dad's head, let's just all stand for a minute. Ground, boom, boom, off on your way because we're a busy country. We're a busy world. We're busier now than we were 100 years ago. They are in the car. <laughs> yeah. and, and do that. And if teachers knew this in school, they could do that with their children, you know, to say, stand up, do some breath work, get everybody grounded so everybody's a little more calm because... Parents are throwing egg sandwiches at them and all kinds of stuff. We eat cereal and they have to go to work because we have a double income now, too, because of our economy in, in the, you know, this North America. So, you know, is mom and dad home or what? So that's the part of the, the grounding in the chakras. If, if you had a meditation that you could teach family members of how to ground their children into the heart chakra and feel that love and then they go then maybe you know family dynamics would get a little bit better better because mom's not so stressed out and everybody's doing it um it's tough because we know by statistics that domestic violence is huge um divorce is huge um did you get a divorce in a past life were you the mom or the dad right. or were you one of the children and that's the past life work were you Part of this and did you decide to come down and say i'm going to work this out with you because you were my wife or you were my child or did you die in a plane crash in world war ii and never was, was there or you were in egypt you were in egypt building pyramids you were in egypt being a slave you were enslaved or you were you know some of those things that okay why am i running from this person because i'm scared well, maybe you were in shackles and or hand, you know, you, you were enslaved. Maybe the whole family dynamic, the whole soul set was or was it the Pharaoh that puts you in that situation? You know, or big karma is when your ancestors were slavers, you know, professional slavers. And I mean, you know, you have so many angry ghosts and curses on you. you know, it's, they don't want you to have a happy family life. No, and if you think about things that people do in rituals, like black magic, right. like said curses, and you know rituals, where you are you bringing black magic from one lifetime to another? Did you say five lifetimes ago? Because we've been everywhere, come with this all along, and never, ever, ever had it clear, and it's still affecting your health, your body, your heart, your pancreas, your digestion because of that because we bring energies from past life. It's energy DNA. Energies come through. And so was it your wife that poisoned you or did you poison your children? Or did you guys just have a good time and you came back? And it's a good, it, you know, it's to the point that you're like, hey, I'm good. And then, you know. Yeah, I've come across grandmothers or grand grandmothers being on the dark side, you know, selling their descendants to the devil. You know, of yeah. course, it's a deal that's not legal. <laughs> you know, once you it's find false. out, it's, it's this, this dimension yeah. too. It's this, yeah. this line to this earth plane right now. Mm. So, if you look at like, you know, with different aspects in some places like Africa compared to here, why did you incarnate in Africa? Why did you incarnate in England? Why did you incarnate at this time? Did you have a plan? Did you have a contract? Did you have a contract that you wanted to complete? Are you in a false contract? 
Are you in something <laughs> that says, okay, I'm going to do this, and what happens if you don't do it? I think people who get into this, this thought of how past life works and contracts before we come down, what if they freak out and they do work and they go like, I didn't do my contract, I got to come back and do it. You know, and that's people that's getting more open to that. So as far as um, children and family members and how that works, um, you just have to look at all of the aspects that come in, just that just coming, 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 coming. And just know that if you can ground that heart chakra, then you're in pretty good shape. You know, you're in pretty good shape and, and have knowledge about past life, have knowledge about you or people who do your work. There are other practitioners out there, not saying anything against you, Wilson, but there are other people. There are others too. <laughs> teaching chakra work, teaching everything, teaching, you know, let's move this energy, let's move this energy, let's clear your house, let's get all of the incarnates, the spirit, or the um spirits out of your house the ghosts out of your house let's get the demonics the satanics you know let's get all that energy out let's get the gin out of there let's get everything out of there let's look at your energy is there black magic here is there something coming through your property are there portals are there dimensional openings of any kind and start clearing to make the house happy learn about crystals because they are very good energy get the mo energy moving because we pick up on that and then we get cranky and we have a very <laughs> bad day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, you know, this is what Dallas and me are doing, you know, but um, you know, most of the people listening to this, you know, are amateurs, you know, some are dealers, you know, and uh, growing into their role, you know, into this wider aspect. It's not just Reiki, you blow on somebody. You know, to heal. So, do you think that just this heart chakra, you know, alone and being grounded and connected to the heavens, that these dark karmas can be cleared and those ghosts and demons can be cleared, or, you know, specific work has to be done? Yes, and and also, you know, like parents that are at work, because some office buildings aren't cleared, okay. and other people, you feel energies off of other people. Are there is their energy clear? You know, something attached to them because we know that discarnate spirits, ghosts can attach to a person, you know, and follow them around. And you're feeling that person's anxiety because they haven't crossed over into the light. You're going, what in the heck is that? And so, you know, there's office buildings and there's land and there's things all over Mother Earth. But if we have the knowledge of it and know that we can get help for that and say, OK, I don't know this practice, but I know somebody who can help. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I find this myself, you know, uh, many properties, um, you know, there are a lot of ghosts residing there in North America and Africa, you know, it's many slain tribes, also in Australia, you know, and they're not too happy, you know, having, you know, necessary white people or invaders living there. You know? Sometimes these people living there in these places were actually part of the tribe. You know, so but there is a bleed over of all that karma, you know, and then you have portals, you know, wherever there was murder, you know, somebody died of cancer or, you know, a dark ritual was performed. You know, there is a dark portal, you know, where the sewer, so to say, you know, comes into this atmosphere. So, um, you know, so you are a goddess. So, you know, you can help to transmute karma. Is that correct? In curse? Yes. Yes. Can you do so? Yes, I, I am considered a goddess in a lot of countries. Um, again, I'm a mother, Mother Mary. But right. if we work with spirit and we work with source and you're an entity right. of this. So there we go. You know, so this is um, for the so called monotoists, <laughs> you know, transcendentalists, the hardcore ones. You know, they would say, you know, so um, what, you know, why shouldn't I just pray to God, you know, to source? You know, why do I have mm -hmm. to have an intermediary? I mean, in your case, you know, a goddess. You know, in other cases, maybe the Catholic Church or whatever priest, you know, you pay off, <laughs> yeah. you know, <laughs> to intercede on your behalf. You know, so, but, you know, let's just for those people that are very sincere, you know, can you explain the difference, you know, turning to you and turning to the absolute source, you know, nobody beyond and higher? 
Well, returning to me would be something that if I'm working with absolute source, it would be something that's close to your heart. So there are different goddesses around that we work with in different cultures and different religions. And through that, we have different names for source or for, for instance, if we think about Kuan Yin, we think about the Asian culture and how they persevere her as Mother Mary. There's that beautiful love that comes in. Um, she's not real well known in, the, in North America because she's that culture. We think about Inanna. We think about Goddess Hathor, Goddess Isis, and some of those things. And if we are angels of God, as some cultures think, then we are somebody that somebody say, Mother Mary, please come help me. I've prayed to God. I've prayed to this. I see you. If I'm a seer or I hear source or I hear, then it's just kind of like a stair step up. You know, we're just, we're, we're just right there because we work with source. We work with God. We work with spirit, with the great spirit. You think about Native American, American tribes in the United States. Spirit, great spirit, please come down and clear my energy. It's great spirit with all of their healers and medicine men and women, whether they're, you know, good tribe or bad tribe, we still see that we all pray to God. We all pray to spirit. You know, if, you, if, if you're raised that way, now some people aren't. Some people don't have that. You run across that in all cultures, all countries. And it could be a past life. Is it because you hated God? Did you curse God? Did you hate spirit? Are you a Native American that got murdered in the United States and now you're mad because of great spirit didn't save your tribe? Are you the leader? Did you lose all of your people? Or what about Vietnam? Okay, we send these troops. Boom. Gone. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the view, certainly most people blame God, you know, the source for like live, the wars, right. horrors of wars, etc. You know, somebody for instance, would, would get cancer and, and you blame God because you got sick. You know, I hate you, God. Uh, screw you, blah, 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 you know. Um, I hate you for this. You are my son. Got, my shouldn't son. have smoked. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't have smoked. My son got killed in, in an army, you know, got killed. And then I'm blaming God because my son was killed at war. So... Um, would you be willing? Okay, so, you know, when you ask for help, you know, you are authorized to help. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, I would say let's use this um, video here as a tool, you know, for people, you know, to authorize to help you. Mm -hmm. yes. So, I uh, like to go, you know, through the different, you know, areas of, let's say, family karma that I have isolated, you know, by working with all those people, <laughs> you know, so I kind of know most of the sower spots. And of course, is there some more that you know from your perspective, well, you know, go right ahead. Your help is very, very welcome. So, um, you know, um, so, you know, I suggest that we, you know, go into you know, kind of a session, here, you know, where we give you permission, you know, and then the audience, you know, I, you know, want to make sure they smile. You know, so they get your love vibration and they're in a higher vibration and connect with heaven and earth. Maybe we have a little guided meditation. And then, you know, um, we ask, you know, we give you permission to clear certain aspects of family life. You know, is this acceptable to you? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so dear audience, you know, so you're watching this, you know, for some reason. <laughs> you probably all have family. If you have a navel, you probably have a family. So um, just close your eyes and smile. So your vision is more inside. You know, and that way you can perceive more. You know, whatever happens in your light body, in your body, you know, and so on. You know, get images, get thought forms. Don't get distracted. You know, from the outside. So we asked Absolute Source, you know, to completely surround and protect us, our homes, you know, clear any dark influences like entities, spells, curses, thought forms from our environment, you know, create a beautiful environment, fill it with love and light. 
Mm -hmm. Camouflage it so you don't necessarily draw the attention of the dark ones. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And um, we ask that all the dark thought forms that you have accumulated, whether sent or absorbed by osmosis, be clear. Maybe Mother Mary, yeah, can you help? <laughs> yeah, we give Mother Mary permission to clear those. Um, and then please smile, you know, and the more you smile, the more you open to love, the faster we can work with you. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, it takes about five seconds for stuff to kick in. Good. Now imagine you, you know, you're opening your root chakras and your feet mm -hmm, to draw in the love of Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Pull it all the way through your legs, up your spine, into your brain. And then send it into the Earth. Maybe mm -hmm. give Mother Mary permission, you know, to clear all those resistances, obstacles, spirit curses. And one more. Mm -hmm. If you keep your tongue at the palate, you know, at the mm -hmm. highest spot, that gives you an extra kick of 20%. Cool. Mm -hmm. And now we start connecting with the heavens, you know, Milky Way Galaxy, imagine her at the ceiling, pull her mother love, you know, into your coccyx, means all the way through the crown, over the heart. Mm -hmm. Keep it in the nerve fiber, though. And send your lover. Mm -hmm. And we ask Mother Mary to cleanse our celestial chakras you know, of all the impediments, trauma, and brain, brain damage, you know, crown of thorns, reverse crown, spells, curses, mm -hmm. and you know, other things like skull caps, plates, <laughs> all the dark magic as much as possible. Um, and, 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 as we are with this, also from our family members. <laughs> you know, just not. Mm -hmm. Give, give her permission. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. And now start pulling the love from heaven and earth simultaneously into your heart. And smile, 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 smile. So it turns into love. The principle is the more you smile, the more you open up to your celestial higher consciousness. The more you frown, you turn into the survival you know, instinct. You know, fear, jealousy, anger, and stuff like that. So you want to smile, there you go. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, now on the inhale, you pull the love from heaven and earth into your heart, and then, then on the exhale, send it to Mother Mary, to this presence. You know, what else can you offer her than love? You know, and she is a multiplier. <laughs> so just pull this in and send it to her. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know, she can use this energy or this connection you know, to help you and your family. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, between you <laughs> and your family members, you know, you probably have, first of all, karma of rape, you know, incest, you know, all these things, um, especially in, like, um, you know, the powerful families. You know, this has happened a lot, you know, where dark magic was done. Mm -hmm. So can we have all the dark cords, implants, entity attachment, you know, and vows and curses, you know, that happen from rape in our families with our ancestors. Clear, pretty please, Mother Mary. Amen. Mother Mary is going to be busy. She's always busy. <laughs> yeah, I bet you. Busy woman. And, oh, yeah, I feel it kicking in there. Just keep on pumping love to Mother Mary. Many of you start to cry. Yeah, that's Mother Mary, you know, she packs the punch, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, there was a lot of torture, you know, in family members. Sometimes we were tortured in front of our loved ones, or our loved ones were tortured in front of us. Oh, yeah. Or we tortured our, that we are, you know, we together. I've seen it all in past life regressions, you know, it happened all. You know, so you like to have all those curses and vows and cords and karmas cleared. You know, it's probably balanced out over the lifetimes, but, you know, the garbage is still in the nice eater. Do you like to have this cleared? Please, 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 Mother Mary. Amen. And keep on sending that heaven and earth love mm -hmm. to Mother Mary in... You know, my clients, they cannot know how to project source love. You know, just go ahead with that. Mm. 
And of course, you know, when you curse somebody, you know, or you do bindings and spell somebody, you know, um, this doesn't come for free, you know, <laughs> you have to be incarnated with those people, you know, and to also suffer the results of this, you know, and so and many times they become family members. <laughs> so we authorized Mother Mary, you know, you know, to clear those, you know, spells, curses, bindings, you know, um, you know with the mercy of source. You know, there's so much karma on this from ancestors, etc. You know how to, you know, work this all off <laughs> before ascension. <laughs> and we need some grace here, pretty please. Okay, here we go. Keep on smiling, you know, smile, 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 you know, so the darkness can't get to you. And, uh, Keep on you know, sending the love to Mother Mary. Give her some good ammunition. Mm -hmm. And now a big thing is also among family members, you know, betrayals. You know, any type of, you know, many of them got sacrificed, you know, given up for sacrifice, like with the Maya for prestige, or thrown under the bus, you know, or black magic, you know. Uh, to be famous, you know, very, some very dear to you has to be sacrificed, or you were sold into slavery, you know, or you were just abandoned to die, you know, too poor, too sick, you know, couldn't deal with it, you name it. So, you know, all these, you know, issues, you know, back and forth, you like to have cleared. No, Mother Mary, we give you permission. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Always this five second delay before it kicks in. You know, right. Ooh, yeah. And you probably feel waves of energy flowing over you. You know, I'm just telling the people here. Normal, <laughs> very normal. Mm -hmm. And if you kind of feel like moving your spine, you know, go right ahead. You know, that will help in the clearing of energies. Now, so many of us, you know, have been the black sheep <laughs> in our family, you know, or, you know, among, you know, we are the different, we are the weirdos, you know, some of us could see ghosts or, you know, they could talk to you, you know, whether you want it or not, you know, and many of us, you know, ended up in mental institution, you know, getting shot up, you know, and getting further infected. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all these, um, trauma, judgment, you know, how family looked at you as a weirdo, as a different one, you know, this judgment, you know, and then whatever was done to make you conform, this kind of trauma, this probably bouncing back and forth, you know, we like to have clear, and the spells, curses, and vows around this too, you know, if it's for the highest good, of course, amen, 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 Mother Mary, we give you permission. And I think some other goddesses also can pitch in, you know, we I don't really want we don't want to exclude them. <laughs> you know, but who knows, you know, and maybe many cooks may spoil the soup, so who knows? All oh, right. You know, and so many of us, you know, many of my clients, you know, they're generally females and they're incarnated in dark families. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, traditional, you know, black magic, you know, powerful families, you know, lots of Draco. <laughs> and so, um, you know, a few of them are just knuckle dragging, you know, envious, you know, um, dark people, you know, with dark forefront. Some are very sophisticated, you know, but they're slinging black magic around, you know, like chimps do poo, you know. And um, so, you know, where we are incarnated in those families to transmit this, you know, we like to have help now. <laughs> you know, wherever our love got squelched in those different incarnations, you know, where we got sacrificed, I mean, I've seen it so many times, you know, God is incarnate in a demoniac family, of course, they figured out, and here she goes, you know, sacrificed and sucked dry, vaporistically. So you like to have, oh God, you like to have this aspect liberated. <laughs> The trauma you know, cleared, especially when the heart was cut out. 
you know that creates a big big you know the separation from the heart you know dysfunction so please mother mary you know put those hearts back or any other body parts <laughs> you know that got cut off integrate this heal it you know, and you know maybe uh, ask archangel michael to you know, deport whoever evil doers you know that have to clear the scene now and get the holes the portals cleared the dark energies the protection pardon, pardon me archangel michael of protection Yes, you know, I mean, he does his thing, <laughs> you know, you do your thing. <laughs> He's my right-hand man, he loves yeah. to copy. <laughs> He's the cop here, yeah. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. clear all the portals, mm -hmm. all the dark contracts, and mostly sheeting, anyhow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, throughout the timelines, also the parallel timelines, mm -hmm. And, uh, past, present, future, you know, the dark ones, they, some of them do a lot of timeline jumping. You know, we like to have that also, you know, strictly controlled, you know, make sure they can't do that anymore. You know, it's illegal to reach to the dimensions to harm humans. <laughs> um, uh, um, so, uh, ooh. Yeah, Mother Mary, there's a lot of heart pain around this. <laughs> Can you clear this too? All the way to the physical level, you know, not just emotional, you know, all the way to the physical. Thank you. To the, oh, dear, oh, that's good. You're good. <laughs> Oof. Please, everybody, smile, 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 smile. Mm -hmm. Project love onto her. So, you know, um, and of course, we have to live someplace. <laughs> sometimes on an old inherited thing, you know, sometimes we're in a hotel, you know, or in an apartment building. So generally there are dark thought forms, you know, and ghosts, you know, on the land, in the buildings, you know, and even in the items in the house, you know, whether it's furniture and old mattress, you know, where five people died on <laughs> in a hospital, you know, there may be dark portals where people died of cancer, you know, suicide, hospitals really bad, you know, some places are. You know, just people die within two days because there's a dark portal and they're sucking them dry. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Mother Mary and Archangel Michael, you know, we give you permission and request, you know, to purify our land, you know, our building we are in, and our possession, all the things that are around us, you know, from all these dark thought forms that prevent us to love, that keep our vibration down. Um, you know, especially inherited stuff. You know, some of that jewelry is cursed. You know, some of the inheritances are cursed. You know, so if all this, you know, negatively impacts <laughs> the family life. So we kindly give you permission to clear all this. Um, give her love. And there are, of course, also, you know, dark courts, you know, wherever there was a traumatic experience with somebody, yeah, you're being courted with that person. And even if you had a good one, you know, or we had good and bad ones, you know, sometimes that makes it even worse. Mm -hmm. So we give you permission, you know, to clear all those dark courts and the energies that are being exchanged, you know, to us or through us, and what will be downloaded with, that, you know, hamper our family life, you know. So these cords can come from ancestors, ex-lovers, you know, 
Und ja, dann war doch auch Family that are jealous, ne? or dark entities, the Dracos don't like us to be happy. Ne? Dark Anunnaki, you know, so can you clear all those dark codes and other technologies through which our families are being polluted now by the dark side? They give you permission. And, and, and Archangel Michael too, you know, set up anything, everything, so this cannot happen. No more invasion, no more house invasion, no more family invasion, no more family sabotage. Uh, even if there are old contracts that would allow it, no. Clear those. Here we are. And you know, this is, of course, there's a lot of stuff going on that will take some time to settle in. So we just, you know, giving in the orders, <laughs> like take out food, you know, and then it will come later whenever it's ready. So again, you know, there's a lot of cursing and spelling, you know, on two families, you know, to divide and conquer, you know, for political reasons, you know, or, you know, jealousy, you know, to be unhappy, you know, around love, to always find the wrong partners, you know, to be impotent, you know, to have child molestation, to never find love, you know, and, and they're, you know, like a lot of slaves, you know, they curse their masters because their families were destroyed. And, and, you know, they're probably, you know, a good reason, <laughs> you know, to feel like that. Mm -hmm. And then there are also ETs, you know, that set up, you know, um, let's say, programs and, um, yeah, patterns, you know, to create trouble with families. You know, they call the scientific experiment, you know, but they're actually designed, you know, to torture and to create loose for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I mean, yeah, you know, if you want to study how much mice, you know, can swim, you know, without, before they drown, you know, that's basically torture. You know, it doesn't help that much. You know, after 10 mice, you have, should have figured that out, right? So, you know, so we like to have, you know, those you know, predators, you know, brought to the courts of divine justice, or those merciless scientists, you know, have that cleared, the experiment cleared, our aspects liberated, you know, and then please also clear all those hostile, you know, vows and curses, and those whose families got destroyed, like the slaves, you know, and others, you know, through war, etc., Please give them help too, so they have no reason to complain. Just get them into the heavens. <laughs> I know it's no small thing, you know, but we give permission at least or help, you know, to you know get the ones that can help with this. Um, um, this is also for Gaia. You know? I mean, we don't want hordes of ghosts still roaming here. Uh, yeah. No, um, conflict in vows. <laughs> so, um, you know, family is based on love, you know, and so love has always been considered to be exclusive. You know, so the vows were always required, you know, to only love Jesus or Mother Mary or Billy Bob. You know? And we definitely, in many lifetimes, we loved very sincerely, you know, and made very sincere vows to be always together again. You know, but I mean, how big are your families going to be? You know, so there is always somebody, <laughs> you know, outside, and there, there are a lot of conflict in vows, you know, in our love. You know? And of course, we're supposed to love anybody anyhow. You know, so you know, could you clear those vows? You know, that prevent us to love fully. You know, and create problems in our families and our own lives. Amen. So, you know, we already talked about this a little bit, yeah, you know, so some beings, you know, they create scenarios, you know, to create suffering, to create loose, you know, as food for them, and, you know, they attached beings, jinn thought forms, you know, and other nasties, <laughs> you know, onto the family. Um, and you like to have those cleared, you know, and maybe also, um, you know, this is probably part of the package there. 
um, you know, um, we had answers that they were on the dark side, you know, and they made contracts, <laughs> you know, with the dark ones, you know, selling out, you know, their descendants, whatever, you know, running up a huge bill, you know, that the descendants are supposed to pay, you know, which is, of course, completely illegal. So we asked Archangel Michael, you know, and Mother Mary, you know, to clear this damage. You know, and to close those contracts, you know, that would bring unnecessary suffering to the humans and to our family. <laughs> we give you permission. Okay, so. Um, is there anything that I missed that you would like to add <laughs> to, right? Well, it sounds like you've got almost everything. Okay. Um, internet influence, you know, demonic and other, you know, um, internet influences that can tear people and families apart. You know? I think yep. there's a lot of temptation like that. Yeah, Archangel Michael yep. and other heartbreakers. You know, I mean, you know, clear all the heartbreak stuff, you know, and the reaching through these channels. Also, the dark technologies like microwave vibrations. You know, there are a lot of frequencies. You know? I don't know, want to go engineer here, you know? <laughs> but people can we, be called. Another thing that we we talk about is the parallel lifetimes and the other dimensions that we're in and the other beings in other dimensions. Yes. So that's something, you know, we can touch on for a minute because you had mentioned to clear the other parallel lifetimes because how many of us are floating through in this learning through these dimensions and what other beings also are around? Are there fairies? Are there Bigfoots? Are there, yes, you know, yes. mm -hmm. things of that nature that's, that's also in those other dimensions that are not in our dimension that we don't see? Some people see them, but, you know, we think of that and we think of the pain that they go through as well and the parallel lifetimes. Have we been one of those entities? Have we been one of those beings? you know, uh, I guess I would say more beings and entities, but they can also project that energy. If <laughs> yeah. there. You, I'm and on your side. I hear you. I, I hear you. Yes. Think mm -hmm. about dimensions because, you know, there's so much on the internet and things about, especially since the internet has been around and we get that out there about different, different dimensions on top of each other. There's dimensions. How many of us are out there? How many parallel lives do we have? Do we have a twin flame? Do we have, you know, where I was, I was human. You know, have I always been human? Have I, have I been some type of other species? Have I been an animal? Have I been paired with a demon in another lifetime, say like oh, in Atlanta know. or, you know, you know, some of those things. And so you look at those things too, and does that come into this lifetime? And are you feeling your parallels? Are you feeling those other dimensions, or are you just feeling the other dimension that's a horrible dimension? Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to do it now? Can we do it now? You which one? The clearing? Well, I, oh yeah, I will go through those points. You know, I yeah, use I've those normally, I just... Some of those things I think we don't realize, we think we're always human. But there's so many other dimensions on Earth Goddess Gaia, and how things come in, and you know, you see a portal, you see something, and all of a sudden you're like, what is... What is that? Is that thing attached to you? Is that being attached to you? Is that being on your property? Is it something that you are, you know, are you offending that being because they are dimensional walkers? They can go through dimensions. You know, it's like, wait a minute, you're on my property. You know, and you're like, why is yeah, this like, what? horrible? <laughs> <Who are you? laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, who are you? You know, I'm, I'm, you know, they say, you see a Bigfoot and all of a sudden it's gone. Well, did they jump into another dimension? Are they timeline jumpers, like you said, or are things like that and the other dimensions and the parallels that we are and how that plays into family karma and also how you feel and how you think about demonic entities and and satanic entities is it the devil is it this and you know you, the internet has really brought on all of this stuff where we know that you know it's out there because people are learning about it we can research it we can go this and we can go that and then you know you think was I ever this um did i see a spaceship you know did i see something in the sky that was what 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 was it you know i mean are we from another planet you know, did we 
are we just floating around just checking out planets like planet jumping? <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, in my awareness, you know, I always include all these aspects, you know. Yes, I mean, yes. yes, we have been mermaids and mermen, we have been giants, we have been dragons. You know, I mean, I've incarnated probably in most of those species here, you know, and we have been raptors, you know, and we have been... Oh. You know, yeah, and I think we don't know about that as humanity, you know, that, wait a minute, it's not just human, you know, we come, quote unquote, to learn, you know, that's kind of what we're here for. Um, but we bring all this stuff from past life. And, and I think, you know, like, with the past lives and how we bring that forward is a really big thing for people to understand in all dimensions, in all ways. Yeah, I mean, then we come to, you know, the Atlantean karma, you know, the, you know, the karma from those wars, you know, oh, yeah, you know, please clear all the heartbreak from trauma, you know, um, losing loved ones through war, disease, you know, and other reasons, you know, I mean, that's a big one, a big one, I've seen so many widows, you know, mourning their sons, their lovers, you know, their whole life, I've seen it. You know, so please clear that those trauma and also those curses, you know, that come through war. You know, both sides killing each other, everybody thinks they are righteous. And it's it's a very bad thing. You know, clear that. And you know, also, you know, that if you can, you know, we bleed over from the Larian Wars, you know, from things like the Tiamat blowing up. <laughs> you know, or Atlantis and let's say Mars being stripped of his atmosphere, you know, and that culture disappearing, that trauma affects the heart chakra, right? And then the different cleansing of Atlantis, you know, um, you know, that affects the heart chakra, you know, big time. Please clear that. Um, and, um, and, um, and then the wars with the Lemurians and the Nagas, you know. And we were Nagas, you know, we were the snake people, we were underground people, you know, we were super soldiers, probably many of us, you know, are being used in the future, abused, you know, programmed, you know, all and you know, all these heartbreaking, you know, and um, you know, programming in a demoniac way we like to have cleared. Of course Archangel Michael may have to intervene here. Um, and, um, you know, no slavery, no slavery, I mean, in context that we're just forced, you know, or manipulated, we like to have clear too, Archangel Michael, you know, there's a lot of coercion going on in that field, you know, misrepresentation, lying, you know, people never get paid, you know, they rather get suicided, you know, yeah, like they have that clear too, you know, all these heartbreaks, I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, so, whew. Well, um, you know, family, what is family, you know, only with female, you know, energy. So there are a lot of single mothers around, <laughs> you know, my mother was single for a while, you know, and so I know how it is to be fatherless, you know, I mean, it maybe was a good thing, you know, they were completely traumatized, you know, those fathers, you know, that came out of the war from the school, high school into the war, you know, it's like, they don't make good fathers, necessary. You know? So um, I had to reinvent myself. But, um, you know, we like to have, you know, the divine male masculine energy, you know. And so let's just ask, you know, um, for, you know, which is the most qualified, you know, to assist the family, you know, to step forward. Um, 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 you know? and also for the audience that are here, you know, so this is... What's most appropriate, please step forward. Yeah. And they're fighting it out. <laughs> Arm wrestling, <laughs> no moving <laughs> Somebody's coming in here, yeah. Mm 
Anybody there? Well, if you want to talk to Kuan Yin, she just came through. All right, let's talk to Kuan Yin. No guys today. All right, this is a mother issue. Mm -hmm. Please, dear Kuan Yin, thank you for coming. Yeah, the protection of Archangel Michael. He's right here. You see the daddy? <laughs> the wise daddy? He is the protection of all. He's the one that'll come in and wrap his wings around you and go, I've got you. A lot of people, this is still Mother Mary, a lot of people really use the March Angel Michael because he is a angel of protection. You know, it's it's a beautiful feeling to have him come in and protect you, that really masculine protection. Um, you know, if, on yeah. <laughs> yeah. beautiful, beautiful man, beautiful, beautiful angel, beautiful. Um, Kuan Yin is here, so we're just going to switch and... Um, so I came out of this. This is Dallas, okay? Um, and it switches very quickly for me when I channel because I've opened up to spirit. I've opened up to source. It's all coming through my chakras. Um, she is here. She's a very beautiful woman. Um, those of you that are seers will see her. She is Asian. She's been around for centuries and centuries in all of history. She is an aspect of God. And she also has a lot of history on the Asian culture and how we run parallel with the United States and with other countries like England or Britain or Africa, any countries in Africa, Egypt. She will work with Goddess Hathor and Goddess Isis and Mother Mary because those goddesses come in and they protect just like our change of Michael, because you would think, you know, are they separate, separate beings coming in? Okay. So if they're separate beings and I can only use mother Mary because mother Mary is just here in the United States or just here or there. I can only use Kuan Yin for protection or for love. I can only use goddess Hathor or goddess Isis. I can only use Inanna. I can only use Archangel Michael or Archangel Raphael, the angel of healing. You know, do I do that? No, they all can come in. You can all call them, all of them in. Okay, it's all of these beautiful energies. And so she's gonna come through now. I'll let her come through. Hello, Wolfgang. Hey. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing good, I think. You know, <laughs> riding the tiger right now. I really appreciate your time. I am Kuan Yin. I am somebody that comes through when you're asking for love of the soul chakra. Here. I love to work with the soul chakra because the soul chakra is something that connects with Mother Earth. The heart chakra is also one of my gifts. I come in with gifts and if you ask me, Kuan Yin, what gift do you have for me today? And I would always say love, but love comes in many ways. Love can come in through the soul chakra as well, because we're connected to mother earth. And as an Asian culture, we have a lot of healers that connect with mother earth. So if you want a gift, I love to bring gifts. I may say what type of, of gift would you like? Soul chakra clearing, you know, definitely. But can you explain a little bit more, you know, about the soul chakra? Because people use different terms, you know, like earth star chakra, you know, and, you know, star connection, and you know, and so. And where is to the soul chakra to connect? Uh, the soul star, the soul, soul. Excuse me. The soul star chakra is your feet, basically. The way we look at it is your feet, your soul grounds in oh. <laughs> to Mother Earth. So the soul star chakras connect to your soul chakra. So that is your 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 womb, your womb. So if you think of the star chakras on your feet and then you come up to the soul star chakra, we can connect our legs into Mother Earth through that. So if you figure that the soul goes down into Mother Earth from your womb, 
the first chakra, as we call it, then it goes down in there. So we can use all of our grounding, our core issue can come from those chakras. Those chakras are key on grounding. Mother Mary spoke about the heart and she spoke about love. We come into all the rest of the soul star chakras and all of the different chakras in our system and in our in our body. We have different chakras. We have our meridians that go back and forth. If we're lined up, then we are in tune with our chakras. If you feel the energy of Mother Earth come up through your feet and up into your first chakra, then you can say, please ground me, Kuan Yin, to the core of Mother Earth, because the core of Mother Earth is the womb of Mother Earth. Please go ahead. You know, everybody, all the listeners, please go ahead, Kuan Yin. You know, ground us. You know, pop a first class you know, to Mother Earth and clear all the obstacles there. You know, um, torture, bastonade, you know, rape, impalement, you know, dark magic blocks. You know, there's a lot of stuff. You know, there's a lot of stuff, stuff that, that <laughs> you know, we Shock. need clear. Um, you know, in all cultures, all dimensions, the first chakra is key. That's where we birth children. Mm -hmm. um, that trauma, mm -hmm. also trauma, you know, parallel other. dimensions, mm -hmm. parallel tunnels, past, present, future, timeline wars. You know. It's clear that stuff too, you know, those attacks from the time travelers. Mm -hmm. And then also the uh, wrong philosophies, you know, that, um, uh, you know, the so called transcendentalists, you know, that don't give value to earth life. You know, yeah, this is the place to get out of, you know, the <laughs> carnal life. Mm -hmm. You know, so we like to have those, you know, misunderstandings cleared also misconceptions clear and keep place by the proper truth you know so people understand what's really going on and not just listen to some theory that's off um, and i give you permission to clear it for me um, ooh, yeah. and i find proper grounding basically also makes the kundalini arise automatically you know? And so we ask for our family members, of course, you know, um, the same. So, and our ancestors. You know, um, yeah, you know, yeah, we ask for healing of our ancestors. You know, not just the human, but all the other ones too. <laughs> Animal forms, you know, astral beings, higher dimensionals, whoever, you know, got to traumatize the run grounding. We ask that that be cleared. So we have proper connection with our host matrix. Let's call it like that, you know, this Mother Earth Gaia. And also, if you can, you know, ground us even deeper into the cosmic web. You know, some of us are not just local. <laughs> if it's for the highest good, oh, yeah, that's a good fun thing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the root chakra, you know, that's where all the survival issues are. You know, there's a huge amount of trauma around there, mm -hmm. which is, of course, also expressed in the family life, you know, and which, of course, you know, makes us frown and, you know, get stuck in the lower vibration. So we give you permission to clear all those trauma, does that, you know, disconnect us, you know, from the earth life. Not that we want to be attached to the earth life, but, you know, but we, you know, don't want to be negatively attached to so unfinished business. Um, of course, also all the chains, you know, they were put on to us, you know, to control us, you know, the chains, bindings, even you know, sexual bindings, all that stuff all the sexual magic throughout all the species. You know, the Atlanteans, they are bred, you know, and entities, you know, for pleasure purposes. 
And if that probably didn't go well, we like to have those aspects and that karma cleared. I mean, I mean, I mean before that gets out of hand, <laughs> into those entities liberated. Um, that's probably Archangel Michael and others can do so. Um, yeah. Anything around grounding? Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, family is definitely around. You know, eating. You know, the basics of life. You know, ultimately, originally, it was a survival thing. You know, you needed family in your clan to survive. So, there's probably a lot of survival trauma still with families. You know, with spouse and curses and you know, and karma. Can you clear that? We give you permission. I mean, you know, if you need help, we ask that you be given so help. Say one thing that uh, that I would like to speak about is clearing your food. Mm -hmm. When you mm -hmm. just mentioned food, clearing your food <laughs> and the <laughs> things here, yes, the clearing your food and you know the pesticides and things and food and the freshness and stuff. But you know, bless your food. Bless it with with Kuan Yin, bless it with spirits, bless it with source, you know, clear the food, love the food, you know, put your love into it because you don't know where that food came from unless you grew it yourself. Well, you know, the cook, if the cook is in a bad mood, uh, that's going to go into the food, you know, yes. if the farmer was in a bad mood, you know, the thing was grown next to a highway, well, you know, those vibrations are in the food, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, and, if you, and you feel a, that because we're we're multi-dimensional beings we feel that we feel all this stuff so <laughs> food is beautiful food is beautiful for all of your chakras and to keep yourself healthy mm -hmm. yeah, i noticed you know i mean they, they're at some fast food chains they had some vegetarian burgers and i tried them out Oh my God! You know, I went nearly into depression afterward. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh. you know. Yeah. So yeah, so we asked, you know, that whatever darkness you know, came and toxins, you know, came into us into our systems through the food you know, and other environmental effects. You know, like you know, cell phone vibration, you know, TV radiation, all the electromagnetic stuff from just electricity. You know, and plus cell phone, microwave, you know, and others. You know, the whole spectrum is busy <laughs> nowadays with tech stuff. You know, it didn't, you know, we're not made for that. We like to have that cleared. You know, that also disconnects us from Mother Earth and takes our peace away. You know, it's a lot of noise, just noise. We like to have this cleared. We give you permission. Um, mm -hmm, and give us some. You know, frequency screens, you know, if, if you can, you know, they keep this stuff away from us. You know, so we don't get blasted with this toxic, you know, pulses you know, and cannot be controlled by the. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and so the kids, um, you know, they don't run around and play catch anymore. You know, they play, you know, some, they train their thumbs, <laughs> you know, playing on the phone. So that creates a lot of disconnection, you know, not only from the earth, but from the natural world. I mean, even the social world, you know. So I'm pretty sure there are programs in this, you know, supplemental stuff that, you know, makes people, you know, who condition them to disconnect from the natural world, you know, and look for this fake adrenaline highs, you know, you get, you know, from any you know, cell phone or computer affirmation, you know, bing, 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 you know. So we like to have this programming clear. Can you? And please give you permission. Um, Also, especially from the future, you know, where aspect of us got enslaved by AI or still enslaved per our timelines, you know, and not connected with the natural world, please reconnect. Um, um, um. 
and if you pissed off you know other beings from you know the natural world like fairies unicorns giants you know some rock people you know all kinds of beings you know get offended by humans throughout the timelines you know we like to have this clear too you know so we have a proper connection now and, you know are able to react appropriately in harmony from now on amen, amen, amen. you know there are probably all kinds of anunnaki <coughs> jinn programs you know, to keep us disconnected from nature, you know, to squelch our instincts, you know, to squelch our connected, connectedness with the web of love and light and nature, you know. So we like to have, we give you permission to have this cleared. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. And Jinana, the scientist, might be able to help out. <laughs> oh, God, this is pain. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, clear that karma too. Yeah, many of us also listening to this, we're creator beings, you know, that we're part of the problem, you know, um, creating the human, you know, creating different species. <coughs> you know, um, not as necessary as gods, I mean, the Atlanteans, they did a whole lot. <laughs> and so on, so whatever karma is there, or whatever darkness we created there out of ignorance or you know, um, whatever reasons, you know, we like to have that cleared. So there is again a stronger connection to the natural matrix, you know, the natural world. Um, um, um. There was a lot there, yeah. Yeah, and then we, you know, so there is the queen of jade, right? I feel the jade energy, you know, so we invite her the loving jade energy to come into our families, into our home, you know, to create, you know, this beautiful and harmonious atmosphere, you know, where everybody can strive and you know, get aligned with their dharma, with their original purpose they came to incarnate with. Um, um, um. Is there something we've forgotten that you like to add? No, I was just about to say, how about the ruby energy? Ruby energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are ruby. beautiful energies in that crystal itself. This is still coming in, and I'm just helping clear and going through all of these prayers that we are doing. But the ruby energy is a beautiful, beautiful thing for the soul star chakra and your first chakra. The color red, as we know, the first chakra is red. Soul star chakras are bright, bright orange and also can turn into bright white lights. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. So the ruby energy can pair with jade very wonderfully. The jade is usually green. So we can blend those energies and bring that in as well for families and for our chakras. If I could, if I could, all right. Ruby, crystal, corundum, flat, eight, now what's this? A six pointed. Mm -hmm. This is the triangles in the foot chakras, root chakra, this is a puffer light, you know, as a focuser. And we like to have a ruby in the heart, so this ruby energy gets, you know, transported through the blood, through the whole system. Mm -hmm. Is this possible? And beneficial? Mm -hmm. Work with crystals. Crystals are beautiful. You like you give permission. Amen, amen, amen. Sure, you clear your crystals. Oh, yeah. And they came from. Oh, yeah, too. Mm -hmm. And I would I like oh. to find my rubies again. They all disappear. Yeah. Me. <laughs> and who will workers have touched them? What mountain range are they from? What cave are they from? A lot of them come from Pune. You know, the mountain plateau in uh, near 
Bombay. Mm -hmm. And they grow in volcanic rock. You know? I mean, they come from these high pressure areas. Mm -hmm. They connect you deep with the earth, deep with the earth. Mm -hmm. mm. Probably a good idea to put ruby into your drinking water, right? Yeah. Crystals are wonderful in a drinking water. Except malachite. Yeah. Crystals are wonderful to place around your house. To place them in your bedrooms and place them in your house where the energy flows well through them so that you have a lot of grounding energy in your house. I have a yeah. question. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so these crystals, you know, and I think this is an Isis one here, you know, um, they shoot you know, energy in one direction into the point, unless they're double terminators. Mm -hmm. So let's say we put them into the windows. Mm -hmm. yes. Would it be more, you know, ideal to have them point outside, you know, or to point into the house or to point up? You know, and how should we program those crystals? Programming those crystals are good when you have cleared them with the full moon energy, most crystals. The one you have there would be wonderful if you pointed it to the inside of the window and run it clockwise with the settings of the moon, the wane, just bring it back and forth with it because it's going to be picking up that energy from Mother Earth and the moon. So you would move them back and forth and then it charges through the point and the point can come into the room and bring that wonderful energy into that through that room so use use the the full moon use that full moon to charge your crystals and then program say hello would you please do this as protection you know i'll listen to you and then just move it around the room you can also protect it with archangel michael you can mm -hmm. protect it with the goddesses mm -hmm. and just find if you're very empathic and you're into energy Put your crystal in your hand and see where it wants to go. Ask it. Yeah, yeah. It's want to go here? Does it want to go there? Because a lot of times your hands won't do it. It'll be like, no, I don't think so. It's like putting, you know, something you're decorating. But your crystals will kind of run through the room and they play off of each other. They'll start playing off of all the dimensions, all of the energies, and play so that they can get everything for that. The only thing is, is you have to put them in the moonlight and remember to do that so that they charge back up so that they use that energy because the earth is hooked into the moon. It's all runs with the moon and the tides and everything is running with the solar system. So pull that energy in through your crystals. Get the energy in your house happy. Get your food happy. Get that happy and then teach your children to ground. Teach your, yourself to ground. Just keep in mind that there are energies out there that are not good. There are people mm -hmm. there that are not good. All right. Now, another question is, you know, that I am placing crystals. You know, so we have like sources of not so good energies, you know, like our Wi-Fi box or, you know, monitors. You know, I'm like a foot and a half away from monitors you know, and so on. So again, you know, should we place the crystals against the monitors up? or from the monitors to us or from those you know sources those, those ones i would suggest to place them up so that it doesn't go in or out it's just going to go straight up i have a screen mm -hmm. straight up yes. out tourmaline is wonderful for it because it's such a grounding stone for the towers selenite would be good yeah there. tourmaline <laughs> uh, Protect your, your Wi-Fi and your internet, you know, mm -hmm. from the energies that can come through the internet because negative entities, negative spirits, negative things will come through your so internet. So you put the selenite like onto the Wi-Fi box or, you know, many of them, they stand up like, a, you know, like an obelisk, you know. So again, how to place, you know, the selenite, you know, this basically fiber optic. Selenite. Things. The selenite, um, I would place parallel to the tourmaline. 
So if you're running the tourmaline parallel by your power, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those two, they play together. They love each other. Yeah, yeah, right. They're both fibers, you know. Just yeah. they connect them and then run them parallel and put them in the moon when you can. The tourmaline doesn't need the moon, but the selenite does. So then bring them back in and kind of move them around and see, you can stand and feel that energy off of your tower. You feel it coming through because it's static or whatever. Kind of move it to see where it goes. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. I believe that you have a have a, a video out there. Again, I am Kuan Yin because I watch these things. <laughs> you watch my videos. <laughs> you have videos out there of clearing the internet, of negative beings coming through the internet. Demons or satanic, demonic, reptilian, all of those things that come through the internet. So, you know, protect your computer, protect your cell phone, protect your internet. Place your cell phone there. Get it cleared. Actually, we give you permission to put a seal onto our, you know, communication devices so the dark ones cannot come through this. Can you do that? Yes. Okay, we give you permission. And Archangel Michael too. Double seal. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> mm. <Oof. laughs> yeah. See, and then take the technologies out that are illegal that they're doing this. You know, you don't want them anymore. You know, not their domain. It's probably illegal. Um. Archangel Michael, yeah. Cool. So. Hmm. So, yeah, so what does you think about the male aspect, you know, for a family? You know, I mean, we talk now to two goddesses and, and, and no male aspect, you know, and, and you know, so again, we're having <laughs> single mothers, <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, it's yeah. Kanyan still, and we'll switch when you, you want to, if you want to. We'll know, you're welcome. <laughs> One of the male energies that work very well with the goddesses and families is Archangel Michael we've spoken to, but Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is a healer of the energy. So the male energy is very masculine. It comes in and it's protecting. There are different archangels of the male masculine. We think about the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Don't forget about the divine masculine in family. Because source is that too. Don't forget that you can work with source. You know, work with source and call in the male aspect of source. Call in the male aspect of the divine masculine. Archangel Michael is male. Archangel Raphael is male. Mother Mary is female. I'm female. So you think about the goddesses in Egypt. There are gods as well. But the goddesses are the womb of each pyramid. The goddesses are the womb of birth, but we have to have the masculine to come in to produce offspring. So the offspring is also a father aspect because that is their DNA, that is who dad is. So we can't forget, we get stuck on females and rape and incest and things that, that are very hard and there's incest everywhere, molestation, happens to male and female. Um, so we can't forget dad in this whole deal because divorce rate is up. We know that it's, we can look at history books or the internet and know that it, you know, divorce is divorce. But if we forget about the masculine, then you leave out a whole population of the, of, of everything. So if you, Want you know that male masculine energy? Call in Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael. They are beautiful beings. Call in the divine masculine when you're mm -hmm. counting. You can call in Mother Mary to ground your heart chakra. Call in Archangel Michael. Call in me. Call in Source. Run both energies through you because we've been both in all of our lifetimes, run both because one can be very loving, one can be very protecting, but there's a lot of loving male masculine that we forget about. We think about mom and love, well, what about dad? What about the father? 
right. Oh, okay. Um, well, you inspired me. Um, <laughs> you like to call in, you know, Archangel Raphael now. Thank you so much, Kuan Yin, for your assistance. And you're always welcome, you know, to assist my family. Um, okay. He's big. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting. Let's just recharge here. Ah, yeah, here we go. Oh, you're very different than Archangel Michael. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. He's, he's a beautiful energy. He's he's beautiful. And the goddesses love to work with the archangels, the, the Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. We work together. Remember that. We're all here through Source, the Divine Source. Well, um, I would like to give Archangel Raphael, you know, the microphone, so to say, you know, and to see his perspective, you know, that he has, you know, on many human family right now, you know. Please go ahead. Would you like to bring him in? Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. He's here. Okay, so Kuan Yin is gone, and I'm still Dallas. I still know what's going on. They just come through my shop. And I like to remind the population that you have that it's not me saying this. It's coming through my chakras. I'm a healer. I'm a shaman. Um, I first started doing this when I was very young, um, very gifted with that. You know, with this, this it's a gift. It's something that comes through source. And so it's because I'm a female, it doesn't mean that I cannot channel Archangel Michael. Well, let's see if your voice changes. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when you get different aspects or different beings come in through me, you know, all of a sudden my voice will change or like I get a different look. I get a different thing going on and somebody's going, oh, my God, there's there they are. And other times it sounds like me. So it's 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 a beautiful gift to have because you can help a lot of people. Um, but he's here. He's a very loving being. Um, hello, Wolfgang. Hello. Thanks I'm for Archangel Raphael. I am a beautiful angel that comes in through the solar plexus. Mm -hmm. I'm a beautiful angel that will run energy through your solar plexus to be able to connect to the first chakra, the root chakra, and the star chakras. So we have connected the heart chakra today. We've connected now the solar plexus, and now we're going to connect all of that to the root and to the feet chakras. A lot of people don't know we have feet chakras. I am a healer. I help the medical profession. I love to help protect people when they're in surgery because my specialty would be coming in and helping somebody who needs healed through trauma or through surgeries or through injury but i'm also connected very closely to mother mary because mother mary is a healer kuan yin is a healer so we connect these energies together and we can come in and work through these chakras. I'm a beautiful male masculine that comes in. A lot of people see me as coming in as emerald. A green light will come in. It's a beautiful light. And it comes in and it'll flow through you. And I can come in and clear energies through all of the chakras with all of the other planes that we have in our meridians. So you can call me in to come in and do that because we always want our chakras cleared. We always want all of this cleared because if we do this, then we are connected to Mother Earth and we are connected to the heavens above. So when we clear, we like to clear with all of us. So with all of the aspects we have talked about today, if we bring in me, I can connect all of those chakras together straight up to the 12th chakra. Because I'll come in through, come in down. Because I want to keep everything straight. Because if we're walking straight, 
We're feeling good. We're set in, sitting up straight, <laughs> doing things that keep us open and connected for Kundalini to come up. Then we do that. If we feel that we have other aspects coming in, I will take them away. Along with Archangel Michael, we are brothers, so to speak. We come in, we clear, we protect. We come in, we clear, we protect. So with all of the stuff we have taught today, because I'm here and connecting to source and to the core of Mother Earth and to all the planets and to the galactic source of all, then we are connected to our heart chakra, which goes back to family, which goes back to what we started with, family. All right. Now, family is a social dynamic, you know, with power structures, you know, and power fights, you know, with the solar plexus, <laughs> you know. So we're dealing, you know, with the solar plexus, with all, you know, with social stuff. It's not one-on-one -on -one necessary, it's with the group. You know? And of course, we all have a lot of karma, <laughs> you know, around, you know, the abuse and use of our free will in social situations. You know, so I would really appreciate <laughs> you know, if you could clear, you know, all the dysfunction, you know, around power issues, power dynamics, you know, power over you, power over ourselves, and so on. All you, you know? have to do is ask, and it's it's something and, that and people forget that. You just ask, please come in and clear Archangel. Please, cle yeah, please clear and this Archangel. If you can't, it's just, or I can't, or it can't be cleared. Ask for it. And we come in, we're not like, you don't have to be special to, or a healer to do this. Ask for us to come in and clear. So we will start clearing. All right, people, give your permission, nod your head, say amen, smile, project love, mm -hmm. close your eyes, mm -hmm. smile like an idiot, you know what else can you do? Send love, mm -hmm. source love if you can, heaven and earth love, if you don't know anything else. Mm -hmm. And you probably should feel a nice buzz in your solar plexus, oh yeah. Also, you know, we give you permission to clear, you know, stuff from the parallel timelines and past lifetimes, future lifetimes and present lifetimes in other dimensions and realities. You know, all the bleed over from our ancestors too around those social issues. And, 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 And then when that is done, you know, please realign and connect all those chakras, mm -hmm. balance them, and, you know, clear any blocks that prevent them from communication properly with each other. And also clear any blocks from the meridian system, nadi system, chakra system, and any other, you know, systems like the endocrine system, the nervous system, you know, the musculoskeletal system, etc. Mm -hmm. all, the, all the way down to the DNA and genetic code. Um, 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 you know, as we're already there, you know, you're the doctor, you know, clear also any sabotage program <laughs> and splicing into our DNA, you know, so that our multi-strand DNA can manifest. You know, all these breaks and governors that were put onto it by the dark side, we have permission to clear those now for us. Of course, you know, our high self will let you know to which degree. Um, there you go. Mm -hmm. 
Is there something else you would like to clear that you haven't mentioned yet? Um, with me as being the healer and the medical aspect of the human body, it is good to clear all of your cell structure, all of your DNA and your organs. So we can come through as Archangel Raphael and Mother Mary together, which beautifully works because she is also a healer of the body, to come in and clear the entire system, body, yeah. the system, all of the blood, the cells, DNA, and not just think of it as something that we broke an arm that we can heal, the whole cellular structure, our DNA, our broken DNA, you know, clear the reptilian energies out of that DNA with the chemtrails and the things that come in that we eat and things of vaccinations. Where do they come from? So let's bless them. Let's clear them. Let's get that, get the right stuff in your body so that your body can process food and mm -hmm. your body can heal with food. Food is very healing. Our diet is very key. We can ask for guidance on diet with our children, with obesity, with things that are really hard on our system. And it'll start coming through because we're talking about it right now. It's going to start coming through and start clearing. We and give permission. We give permission. Amen, amen, amen to all you just yes, suggested. Yes, give permission. Your entire structure your entire body, your eyes, your ears, everything needs to be cleared and protected because we are healers of the divine source. We are heal healers of the source energy. So we will bring in source of the male and the female to come in and clear and heal, clear and heal. Wake up every morning and ground. Ask for everything to be protected. Clear all of the food I ate the night before, the day before. What am, what, what am I going to eat today? Do I have a plan? Do I need to clear my children? Do I need to clear the lunchroom at the school? Do I need to ask for protection of food? Because my child is not eating my food. Which goes back to family. And we have all kinds of vaccinations out there. COVID, flu. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we give you permission, you know, to do those things now. Um, 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 I have to move on now. There is another session coming up for me. So we thank all those beings that came. You know, and Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael, Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, thank you so much for your mercy unto us. Um, so um, please help us to integrate everything, you know, to update the different subtle bodies in our different existences on the different dimensions and parallel timeline. Please optimize this. You know, to help us resolve you know, any family outstanding issues, you know, in the easiest and nicest way possible, you know. Especially with a lot of grace and good luck. <laughs> you know, better to have good luck than being qualified, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, so, mm -hmm. please, um, you know, if anything dark or inappropriate came to us, through us, or between us, we like to have this cleared. If you had any misconceptions, you know, about the message that we received, we like to have those clear too. You know, we only ask that whatever is beneficial for our growth, that we accept and integrate that into our life. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And then surround us and, you know, flood us with the love and light of source and whatever, you know, our systems need at this moment. Mm -hmm. Update, synergize, and then seal in so the dark side cannot steal or pollute or manipulate our energies. Keep it protected. Amen, amen, amen. And to one, two, three, you know, we're back in vacant day consciousness again.
so um, you know information how to get in touch with um, you know Shim in um, Dallas you know is below and, and you know how to get in touch with me you know I do this kind of work all the time you know this is there's how a lot. I, I'm, everybody's gone it's there's so many there's people that can help you know yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. get on his schedule it's worth yeah. it <laughs> You know, so um, just pray, you know, that you be hooked up with the proper healer. You know, that's the best. You know, then uh, your high self knows, you know, they all know who is who. You know, and they'll hook you up with the person that you need to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had psychic people in France, you know, tell somebody to come to Wolfgang in Arizona, you know. I mean, <laughs> all them, you know, I have nothing yeah. in France, you know. So experience once you, you've, you've been cleared and you've been healed and your chakras and all that and you've actually hit it, it's like, whoa, that was cool. Yeah. That feels mm -hmm. good. So they hear you, they hear you, and, you know, and if you pay attention, you ask for it, you will see it manifesting after some time. So, you know, um, give us a thumbs up. You know, and uh, give comments. You know, this is a tribe. You know, and share your experiences with others, also your opinion. We love you a long time. Namaste. Namaste.